Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to downgrade your Sony Xperia Z from Android 5.0.2 Lollipop back to KitKat. So, um, let me just show you that this is Lollipop at the moment. So, as you can see, Android 5.0.2 Lollipop on the Sony Xperia Z so for whatever reason you might not like Lollipop and you might want to downgrade back to KitKat because you was probably getting better battery life or whatever whatever your reasons may be for downgrading um, I'm just going to take you through the step it's real simple to do so um, first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to back up all your important files on your Xperia Z important pictures important videos because doing this is gonna wipe your phone clean so just make sure you back everything up next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to download flash tool from the link in the description down below when you download it save it to your desktop this is how it'll look just click on it hit yes hit next and choose the destination where you want to store it I normally store it on the desktop so you can choose desktop if you want um, and then just follow the installation instructions and it'll install flash tool onto your desktop um, and from there you'll be asked to install the drivers make sure you choose Xperia Z drivers and tick the boxes and install them um, when it's all done you should have a folder like this and this is how it should look the next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to download the stock Android 4.4.4 KitKat um, firmware it's going to be a FTF file as you can see and it's 958 megabytes here I've downloaded the UK one because that's where I live um, but I'll leave a link to where you can download the stock firmware from the KitKat firmware this is the link here So if you've got the Xperia Z C6602 or the Xperia Z C6603 model, um, just choose whatever model you've got and download the firmware and store it on your desktop like I've already done. Like I says, there it is. It's an FTF file. Okay, so <clears throat> what you need to do is open up the flash tool. and you should see a folder which says firmwares you're going to drag and drop the stock ROM into the firmwares folder and then back out of there and now just launch flash tool hit yes It's going to say please wait until the end of process that'll take about a minute to complete okay so Okay, so once that's done, once that's done, just connect your phone to the USB cable. Now 
hand it to you. Okay, so once it's connected to the USB cable, it should say device connected with, with USB debugging off. Just go ahead and select this flash icon here and select flash mode and hit OK and click on the stock firmware what you downloaded earlier and transferred into the firmware's folder so here it is like I said mine's the UK version of the stock firmware so I'm just gonna select that and then hit flash And now it's saying preparing files for flashing. Okay, now this box has popped up which says unplug the device. So unplug it. And now power off the device. Press the back button and plug in the USB cable. So power off the device. Hold on. So power it off. Hold down the volume down button and the power button. Oh, sorry, did that wrong. Hold on. My apologies guys. Okay, so let's just do that again. So power off. Hold down the volume down button. Just the volume down button. Don't press anything else. And plug in the USB cable. Okay, let's just unplug that and try again. So hold down the volume down button and plug in the USB cable. 
and as you should as you should see on on your PC it's starting to flash the stock ROM back onto the phone whatever you do do not disconnect the USB cable or else you could damage your phone So we're just waiting for that green bar to get to the end. Okay, so it's almost done. A few more minutes. Okay, so as you can see here, it's finished, flashing finished, so now you can just close all this down, unplug your device, and power it on.
Okay, so we're just waiting for it to boot up. NFC firmware update. So you'll get prompted, it's just doing a quick update of NFC. Do not turn off your phone. And it's completed there. And now just go through the whole setup process real quick. And this is how you downgrade back to Android 4.4.2 KitKat. Let's just check the version. As you can see, Android 4.4.4 KitKat. So this is just a quick tutorial video showing you how to downgrade from Lollipop back to KitKat. Um, if, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you get stuck with anything, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below and I'll reply whenever I can. And thanks for watching this video. Be sure to share it with friends as well. And thanks for watching. I'm out. Deuces.